CG professional um, and from uh, Legal Advisor of the Year. Really shocked, didn't expect it at all, but no, it's great. And I really appreciate, obviously, all the roles that I've had. It was fantastic. Very impressed. Amazing, beautiful venue. Absolutely beautiful. Um, really well attended. Great bunch of people. Know it's in great. Because um, in certain industries, uh, the legal industry, for example, is still very male dominated. Um, especially from in terms of business owners, it's still very much driven by men. So to see women succeed and um, sort of take the lead, I think it's just impressive, and I think it gives other uh, women the confidence to to go ahead in, in their careers and their chosen careers. So I've been nominated for Recruiter of the Year. My name is Victoria O'Connor and I work for Reed Global. Honestly, I'm overwhelmed. Um, I was not expecting, I think I'm still in shock, I'm not going to lie to you, but elated. And um, this is for my team of wonderful women that I work with every day. Absolutely, and I mean Reed this year especially are celebrating women in business. Um, and to be able to accept this on behalf of a full team of women who are dedicated to making sure that companies get the best, best, sorry, best staff in the area is just, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I, I don't know what to say, I'm just thrilled to bit. Hi, I'm Lucy Hodge from Merlin Entertainment's Blackpool, looking after the Blackpool Tower Sea Life Centre and Madame Two Swords, and I've just won Business Development Manager of the Year. No, I know, made up, is not really surprised, so it's nice. It's lovely. I've never, I've never even been nominated for an award. So my first nomination, and I won. I did it. <laughs> it's been a fantastic night. So congratulations to all on that. Oh, why shouldn't we? I mean, we are fantastic. They said before, 52% of the population. We're here. We're strong. We're ready. We're natural leaders. So it's only right that we fabulously celebrate everything. Rebecca Rowley, my company's Bay Baby, and I won Female Innovator of the Year. To be nominated for such a prestigious award and prestigious company really is such an honour. Um, and it's my first ever awards that I've been up for. So yeah, I was just really proud to get the message out there and, and encourage other women in business that if they want to go for it, you know, they too can go for it. <laughs> I think it's massively important. So my business is all about um, supporting women through pregnancy and birth. So my company is very women-centered. And when I see women, uh, particularly those who are pregnant and have their own businesses, I'm so inspired because I think, gosh, in this day and age to, you know, raise a family and have your own business is inspirational. Um, I think gone are the days where the man was the breadwinner, bring home, the woman stayed at home, I think, no, times have changed and really, for me, this award is for all those women that I have supported through pregnancy and birth and particularly those who are women in business. My name is Kristen Duros, I'm the Managing Director of Red Star Wealth and Red Star Education and I have won Business of the Year. I was thrilled to see all my friends win, actually. A lot of, of women that I'm in business with have won really great awards. Um, I think that there's still the female agenda to make sure that women who are in business are, feel comfortable and confident about, um, you know, showcasing their own talents and being comfortable in the environment to say, I'm really good at what I do. Um, I, I generally don't have a problem with, with saying that our business is fantastic and what we do is fantastic, but having that recognised um, is really important. But there are a lot of female-led businesses where women do still feel that they can't be that confident, like they shouldn't be that confident. So actually having awards like this where it's okay to say I'm really good at what I do is, is really important. Uh, my name's Sarah Warren and I work for the University of Central Lancashire and I have won the CEO Award for 2017. Um, I'm, I'm really in shock. Um, I've worked for the university for 15 years and like Frank said, we've, we've supported downtown um, for a number of years too. Um, yeah, and I'm just yeah in total shock of winning such a prestigious award this evening. It's lovely, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been to a number of downtown events. Um, not been to many uh, recently because I, I returned to work from maternity leave in February so it's been a hectic year this year so far. So this is an extra special surprise. <laughs>